Hey guys, welcome back to today's reading. We're gonna find out today, shit, what was this one? I don't know, we're gonna find out something. Just read the title. <laughs> pile one, pile two, pile three. If you guys want to personal with me, all the information's in the description. Go check out Patreon for seven bucks a month. Go help support your girl. Bless those that bless others. Thank you so much. Okay, it's just, it's just a public service announcement. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys very much. Thank you for being here and supporting me. And uh, let's get started with your reading. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to your reading, pile one. We are gonna find out how did you just recently impress someone? What did you do that impressed somebody? And maybe we'll be able to figure out who it is too. So um, let's see. This person could be born in March. March or June, and I'm also hearing that this could be a mother-in-law or a father-in-law. Somebody is really noticing you step into your own power right now. A lot of Empress energy. Look at this. She has sovereignty and fertility. This is the Empress card. You're laser focused on something, and it's like it's building, it's building respect for you in a certain community. Yeah, wow. Wow. Wow, you guys. Okay, all right, all right. You're impressing, I think, a mother figure and someone at work. There's two people. Actually, there might be three because there's a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups too. Okay, so, so listen, all right. You're impressing someone by tuning into your masculine energy, going from your divine feminine to your divine masculine energy, which is a good thing because you're balanced. You have both, right? So we all have both. So I see Will here. Will, like, you're very dominant right now. You're very, and you're persevering. You're just battling through something that's working for you. We have change. It's a sudden change, too. It's kind of shocking someone. I feel like you're empowering women right now, primarily women. And at work, you make them feel like they can get known and recognized for being sovereign in their own energy. You might have just got a promotion or some sort. Now, there's so many messages coming through. Okay. You might've just had a promotion or you're up for a raise right now. Your boss is looking at you in a really great way, a really great light. Everybody's looking at you like they have so much respect for you. You could be a Sagittarius, um, a Libra, or a Aquarius, or a Taurus. It's something about like a mother, a mother-in-law. It's someone that you don't expect because I don't think they originally liked you. They didn't like you at first, but this person does now, okay? And if it's at work, it's, it's a woman that like, you guys didn't see eye to eye, but they're starting to have this like secret respect for you. Okay. They're starting to trust you. And I think it's because you are also still in your divine feminine, but you're, you're leading with your masculine energy, but there's a femininity, femininity to you that has a boss, a particular boss looking at you right now. People are noticing this. Oh my God. Six of cups again. Okay. We're going to talk about soulmate. Now we're going to talk about a soulmate. Oh my Lord, Jesus. Honey, this person is in love with you. There is a soulmate in love with you. It's a past life soulmate. And I really am getting two aces. Could be earth and water. Capricorn energy as well. Oh my God. This person has so much love for you. They're wanting to offer you something. I think that a partner is going to team up with you because this soulmate is very impressed. They are impressed by you. That you changed on a dime. I'm hearing you just like changed overnight one day. You just woke up. Totally different person, totally different person. And I'm also hearing that they trust you so much. Like you have such a, a genuine way of expressing yourself with trust and sovereignty. Like you don't let people fuck with you is what I'm hearing. People don't fuck with you. They don't mess with you. They don't agitate you. You stay in a perfectly Zen space like this, this meditation card here. Somebody wants to offer you something because you're impressing them and you're impressing them because you turned on a dime. You went from very passive energy to getting shit done. They could be born in June, and I'm also getting March. I feel like I really want to talk about this woman that is noticing you because you did not like her at first, and she did not like you at first. And now it's changing. She actually likes you now. And I feel this is legitimate. So if somebody here, if pile one just got like an offer from someone and you're like, but you hated me before, please trust that that woman is legitimately changed. Like she actually really, really likes you, really admires you now. She didn't at one time. This is just for somebody who just got an offer of some sort. And with two aces here, 
and two six of cups, look how they're offering something in both of these. You're about to be offered something. Somebody's gonna hand you something very soon. It's very tangible. It's in the it's in a 3D world. It's like it's like a, a promotion or a raise. If you're a reader like me, don't change anything. The way you're doing things is perfect. Like pricing wise too, like you might even want to raise your prices right now or like you've contemplating it. If you, if you want to do so, do so. But I'm really feeling like right where, you might even be raising your prices soon is what I'm getting. If you're a reader like me, by like five, 10, $15, something like that. Who is impressed? Wow. It, 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 it's a lot of people, particularly I'm getting somebody at work, I'm getting a mother figure and I'm getting a soulmate. And these people are noticing that you are just done being passive. Like you're done. I heard, I'm sorry, but I heard lazy. I did. I heard lazy. I don't think you've ever been lazy. It's just that people were perceiving you as lazy and now they don't see you like that. Now they're like, wow, you're super driven. And this is like a trustworthy thing. Like people really, really trust this. And I, it, they trust you because it's, yeah, I'm hearing them say like, but where did you get this from? Where did you get this from? This, this power, this shift in drive, this, yeah, this willpower to change with the devil. Like you see something so clearly and you're going after it and you don't care who likes it or not. People are really trusting you right now. So if you're a reader like me as well, your business is about to, like I've heard it's going to boom. Like it's going to just explode one day. Uh, so will your soulmate is what I heard. Okay. I heard your soulmate's about to explode as well. I think somebody's about to be offered something by a soulmate. This is this person is madly in love with you. Been madly in love with you for a minute. They could be an Aquarius, a Capricorn, or a Libra. They're about to offer you something. And you're just looking like a queen, like I, I like an empress. I don't know how else to describe this energy. This is like you're sitting in your power, you're sitting on your throne, and you can't be fucked with. Like it is so alluring, guys. This looks so delicious, this energy. So people really want you right now. And people are coming to you for help and guidance because I think you're a reader. I really am getting that with sovereignty. I feel like in the Empress, I feel like you guys teach people something. You teach people how to work with the universe is what I see for pile one. So people are about to be coming to you um, and you're impressing a lot of clients. You're impressing a lot of people with like your, just your charisma. It's your divine masculine charisma. All right. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for being here, pile one. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hi guys, welcome to your reading pile two, those who chose this pile for why and how did you just recently surprise someone or impress somebody? I just got a random message. Somebody for pile two was singing recently and somebody heard it and they were like really impressed because I don't know if you were being serious about it. Maybe you were, maybe this was a competition or something, but I'm also getting like, they're just really in awe of your voice. I'm hearing these people could listen to your voice all day, pile two. Strength. Wow. It's your vocal cords, your vocal cords. And it's the level of strength that you have. Could be a Leo. Wow. Focus came up in pile one as well, a different card. So did the, oh my God, you guys. So did the um, creation card, which is the divine feminine card. I love it. I love that so many of you, girl, stop. You guys are so fucking amazing. I love you all so much. All right, this one's going to be kind of different. Yes. Okay, so you had a partner that cheated on you in the past, and they recently came to you with an apology, and you turned them down. And I'm hearing that this is going to help their soul's growth. You actually impressed them. They've never been told no by anybody before. I actually feel like they've endured as the king of swords their entire life. They could be a Gemini. They've been the uh, the, the Gemini. Wow, I, I said the Gemini. They've been the Gemini. <laughs> Okay, they think that they've been the, the shit their whole life. Or a Libra. And um, yeah, no, you're like, no, actually, you're not the shit. You're not the poo. So have a good one. And that's what you do. Deuces. Could be a Leo as well. You told somebody no. And they're just like, there's no way in hell that person just told me no. And you're like, sure as shit did. Sure as shit did. I sure as shit told you no. So you have this ex basically foaming at the mouth, angry, but...
It doesn't matter. They're secretly in love. They're secretly obsessed. Do you see how the King of Swords is looking at the lovers? I'm telling you, because you knew they're bullshit from a mile away. They could be born in April. We have the number four here. Twice. What am I getting? What am I getting? Who was recently impressed by you? I heard um, something about a cook. So it could be a chef or a cook is impressed by you as well. Or, or the way you cook. Yeah, the way you cook. Also, I'm hearing you're very level-headed and you were supposed to, you got like triggered recently, but you didn't react. You didn't overreact to something. I'm hearing that song by Avril Lavigne. God keep my head above water. That song, you were supposed to like sink and drown and you didn't. You rised, uh, rised, you raised up. You rose up and you, I don't know, you did something pretty fucking epic. You baked a cake or something. I'm not sure. Whatever you did, you cooked it for this person or someone. You, you, you recently, something about food. Something, something about food. <laughs> You could even have hosted a party, a shindig, I just heard. Um, you hosted a party or an event, and people were like, wow, that was actually really fun. That was actually pretty fucking amazing. Page of Cups, you guys had a great time. I heard you're the hostess with the mostess, is what I heard. You might be like hosting a secret Santa this year, is what I got as well. Um, listen, very weird energy, but there's somebody else in your energy pile too. And it's this king of swords. They're not done with you yet. That's because you told them no. And they're like, I don't care. I want you more now. So whoever this is, guys, I think you think they're a narcissist. They might be. They might be a narcissist. I can't tell. I can't tell because of the energy that they have towards you. It's like, it feels like love. And I think it is love. I think they truly do love you. So a narcissist isn't capable of that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to be, be like diagnosing people. I'm not a fucking therapist. I don't know. But this person is like really in love with you. And I mean in love. Like you told them no. And they're like, mm, see, that's not going to work for me. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. I feel like you have a long string of exes that are so in love with you. Like, it's, it's insane. It's insane. It really is, girl. What's your secret, girl? Call me. <laughs> this person could be born on the 18th or the 14th. I heard in June. Or the number 11 is important. Or four. I'm hearing like, oh, I'm not done with you yet, though. I'm in love. I'm in love. How did you just recently impress somebody? Yeah, yeah, you told them no. I think you're impressing a lot of people by telling them no. Um, also, I'm getting you're really patient with things. Like, you are a slow burn. Like, you don't chase things. You, you attract things. We have the waiting game and pleasure. It's like you wait on pleasurable moments. You wait. It's like you, you sit and you wait. It's like you don't have instant gratification. You're really focused on the end result. And what I really like about this card is that you guys go into, medita in, into meditation and you plant seeds up in your subconscious mind. You bring heaven to earth. Like you understand the laws of attraction. That's what I'm getting. You understand how to be grateful for the universe and the universe brings you more. And this creation card here is like you guys tell the universe with your thoughts, with your visualizations. You are tuning into a frequency that you want and you're telling the universe in your own mind, that's what I want, bring it to me. And I'm telling you right now, the universe listens to you. Success, they have no choice. They have no choice, that's how it works. It's, the, it's a law for a reason, guys. You really are triggering someone though, somebody who has a crush on you and, and, and they're, they're salty. They're salty. That's what I'm getting. They're salty that you rejected them, denied them. It's definitely a romantic offer and they are pissed. They are pissed, but they're, they're secretly like in love. They might be going to counseling or trying to like, I heard about their sexual issues or yeah, I'm not getting into that. I don't care, but I really am hearing like sexual issues and this person's trying to go to therapy to like sort that out for you. They think if they can deal with that, they can come back to you. I don't know, guys, whatever. Um, I heard Eli and uh, Eli, that's not who I heard. I heard El Ella King, Ellie King. I don't, is that a singer? Ellie and then King, the last name King. I don't know if that's her name, but anyway, guys, I saw that, that artist. It's pile two. 
I heard move out of my way. Move out of my way. That's what you're saying to people now. You're doing so kindly. You're not ruthless about it. It's not like you're a total dick bag, but you are saying, get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> move, move. It's mine. It's move. That's what I keep hearing. Like move. Yeah, you don't want this king of swords anymore, but he wants you. He or she wants you. Definitely a Gemini or a Libra. I love you guys. If you want to personal, the information's in the description. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading. Pile three. Holy Spirit, I'd like to channel messages for pile three. In how did they recently just impress someone, please? Thank you. How did you recently just impress somebody? I heard your loyalty. You were like tempted with something and you stayed loyal. I heard loyal to the cause too. Like you could have wanted to take the bait that had somebody like. Yeah. I, I don't know if this was like a sexual encounter or like. I don't know, something. You, you, you were loyal to someone or something, and I feel like it was a cause. I feel like it's, it's like, pile three, that means something important to you, and so you stayed the course, and you didn't take the bait. You didn't, yeah, I heard devil energies. Like, you, yeah. Wow, self-love and self-reflect. Wow. Wow. Stand your, gr look at that. Stand your ground. You said no. You said no. Out of self-love and dignity and respect, and it's like, whoa, you really... You really blew people, blew, blew people's mind. Eight of wands. Extremes. Oh, shit. I think you were offered with a sexual offer. Or like a date. Somebody said like, hey, do you want to go on a date? Or do you want to... This could have even been a dream. Like you could have been approached in a dream. Because I just saw the word lust. So you were shown something in a dream. By someone that's really physically attracted to you. And you said no judgment girl you used your i'm just this is crazy i swear to god i don't look at these cards judgment like you said no you used your discernment you're like you know what i'm gonna use better judgment i'm gonna say no you said no to a sexual encounter it could have even just been a date but you knew it would have led to more you knew it would have been leading to more this person could be born in july or august oath you can't make it up you can't make it up you made an oath to yourself and a cause i this is just oh my god this is such a great reading choices Hercules, Hercules, you made a great choice. You literally said no, even though whoever it was looked like this. Okay, shit, honey, if they look like that and you said no, are you kidding? Girl, who are you? Who are you? You said no to a really tantalizing offer recently because you're like, I want the best. It's not that this person wasn't great. Like whoever they are, honey, I'm hearing they're great in bed. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. That's what you did. Light. And you're like, I want the best. I'm going to get the best. Period. That's it. That's it. Literally, that's it. Even though whoever this was, super sexy. I don't know how you said no. Girl, King of Wands. How'd you say no to that? Look at this card, though. Every time I see this card in this deck, does that look right to you? Like, just take a, just take a gander. Notice anything funny? Uh, have you ever... I'm just saying, every time I see this card, I'm like, what is that? So whoever this King of Wands is, you said no, you rejected them. The Hermit, girl. And that shit hurt, too, by the way. Eight of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah, you're moving on. To, you're, you're like, I want the best. and I'm gonna, I've, Wow, I heard I've tasted the best. I've tasted the best, so I don't want the rest. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is really, this is really crazy. Um, how'd you impress somebody? Yeah, you kind of like power, Pile 2, you said no. You told somebody no, but this is different. This was like a, a sexual encounter. This was somebody who offered something to you and you literally turned them down. Like if it was a one night stand, you said, no, I got to go. Like it was, it was just, you use judgment and discernment and you're like, no, I can't do it. I, I, I know what I want and this isn't it. Wow. Wow. In freaking incredible. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell me some more? Pile three, please. What is it that Pile three did recently that shocked people? Yeah, I'm hearing shock value. Like, you are the shock value. Things you say as well. You come off as extremely enlightened, but people don't expect that with you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to judge. That, that, that's exactly it. It's like people do judge you. Um, you. You say enlightened things, but people are like, that shouldn't have come out of a mouth that pretty or something. It's really, I don't know. This is like people are sexually drawn to you, but you're a hermit. Like people are sexually drawn to you, but you're a monk or you're like a guru. You're some sort of like spiritual teacher. And they're like, 
Y- 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 some, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Yes. Okay. Something that enlightened shouldn't come out of a mouth that sexy. That's what I heard. It's like, who are you? Are you the devil or are you an angel? Like, people are really starting to question this. with high old three. And whoever this king of wands is, honey, they have like extreme passion for you, by the way. It's a man. For sure, I'm getting a man that is like super in love with somebody in pile three. And it's not even, I don't know that it's love. I'm definitely getting lost. Okay, that's for sure. Um, let's see, how else did you impress somebody? It's like, yeah, people are impressed by your level of like, I don't give a shit attitude. Like, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. And if you don't like that tough shit, like that, that's exactly what I see for pile three. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I feel like you're on a stage or a platform of some sort. I, I really feel that. Like, I feel like you're, you're being known right now for being on some sort of platform. It could be so, just social media, but I'm feeling there's more than that. And it's like, people are really listening to pile three because you have a lot of self-love and healing grace in your words, but yet you'll also use the word sex or you'll talk about fucking or something like that. And it's like, wow, did you say that? Like, like, yeah, like it's, it's like you use the Holy spirit. And then in the same sentence, you talk about like dildos or something. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. I think that's pile three's energy. It's like, it's like, I don't know. I want to say it though. <laughs> Look at all these people holding wands though. I'm just saying like, no wonder I'm talking about dildos. Okay. What? I don't know if I should have said it a second time. <laughs> pile. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing. Pile three. You're impressing people by talking about God and then, you know, raunchy stuff in like the same sentence. Yeah. I am hearing that's not very ladylike. That's not very ladylike, but you're like, I don't give a shit what you think is ladylike. <laughs> wow. You guys, you're, you're so loyal to something. It's like you're loyal to a cause. It's like you're loyal to not only yourself, but some sort of cause in telling the world, like, maybe you're, maybe you got it wrong. Maybe the world got it wrong. Maybe I'm getting it right. <laughs> I love it. You have six, seven, eight, nine. It's like, Maybe I'm getting it right. Maybe I'm the one that's right. Everybody else is wrong. (laughs) Oh, I love you. We'd be such great friends. We would, we would. Because you're just such a free spirit. That's what people see. Also, they're very physically drawn to you. There are a lot of men drawn to you, Pile 3. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, yes. And it's like, you keep talking about God but it's like, you're not modest at all. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe you are, maybe some of you are, but most of you, I don't feel are modest in that you wear like, like you're not in a robe. You know what I mean? You're, you're, some of you might even be presenting yourself as like, wow, like really, really out there, like, like voluptuous and like, Hey, here I am. Bam. And it's like, wow, that's sexy. You, I just heard you never, oh my God. I heard you've never made God look so sexy. No one has ever made God look so sexy. That's what I'm getting for you. And let's see one more. I heard that's a wrap. That's a wrap. If you're going to be intimate with somebody right now, please use protection. Not because you're fertile, but because this person's been around. Okay. That's what I'm going to say because they're very fun. And again, you guys have like this very godly energy about you, but it's like you're a sacred vessel, right? Ladies and gentlemen, you're very sacred. Your energy is very holy, right? So just please use protection. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I feel like it's not that this person has bad intentions or that they're, you know, there's anything wrong with them. It's just that be careful. Okay. Use precaution. That's all I want to say. All right, guys. I love you so much. If you want a personal, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.